For the broad public, what is Zionism? Yeah. What is Zionism? Do they even care? You think, go to uh, Liverpool in a bar. How many people are talking about Zionism? You know? Mm-hmm. Same thing with Semitism. They don't mean anything to anyone. Mm-hmm. Now listen, I wrote my doctoral dissertation on Zionism. So I have a stake in it. Yeah. And given the fact that I was never able to get a job, <laughs> that's all I have left is that stupid dissertation. Here <laughs> 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 am I telling you, forget it. Don't argue about those things, Semitism, mm. Zionism. You know, that's what these Jewish crooks want you to do. They want you to spend hours talking about the Jewish people because there's nothing they like more than talking about the Jewish people. They love their navel. So you're ending up, instead of talking about the blockade on Gaza, instead of talking about the settlements, instead of talking about the annexation, you're going to sit down and talk with um, what's his name? Oh, God, his name just slips my mind. The one who did that uh, eternal program in the history of the Jews. Uh, Simar, uh, Simon Shama. You're going to sit down with Simon Shama and start talking about Semitism and Zionism and thisism and thatism. That's not the issue. The issue is Israel's human rights violations, Israeli human rights crimes, Semitism, Zionism, it's just totally beside the point. Yeah. And so I don't think we should get bogged down in those kinds of discussions. Noam Chomsky considers himself a Zionist. Benjamin Netanyahu <laughs> considers himself a Zionist. Avigdor uh, Lieberman considers himself a Zionist. What does Chomsky have in common with Avigdor Lieberman? <laughs> They're both They're Zionists. Both. Oh, it, means, it means the term is so broad and so abstract that it doesn't mean anything. Mm. Whereas if you talk about, do, does Israel have the right to create a state which yeah. legally discriminates against its non-Jewish population? Mm-hmm. That's a simple concrete question which most even non-liberal Jews would have struggle answering. Israel proclaims it's the nation state of the Jewish people. Okay, but what does that mean for those who are not Jewish in Israel? Is it right that a citizen of Israel should be a second-class citizen simply by virtue of the fact that he or she is not Jewish. Does that sound right to you? There you begin to have a concrete political conversation. Whereas if you start talking about Zionism and Semitism, you end up in this never-ending disquisition about nothing. Yeah. Um, 